A couple of years ago, Pebble launched the smartwatch as we know it today with the original Pebble smartwatch. Since then, however, the market has been flooded with other options from Sony, LG, Samsung, Motorola, and now even Apple. However, Pebble hasn't gone anywhere in that time, and now they're back with their latest smartwatch, the Pebble Time. With a new design, a software overhaul, and improved capabilities, is the Pebble Time worth your time? Let's find out. I'm Ben with iTech Triad, and this is our full review of the Pebble Time. So right out of the box, the first thing you're going to notice about the Pebble Time is the design. Now you're either going to absolutely love the design of the Pebble Time, or you're really not going to like it. Now I hesitate to say that I totally hate it, but that's really not that far off. In my honest opinion, the Pebble Time looks like a children's toy. However, I did throw a dbrand skin on it to make it look just a little bit better. Now the main problem I had with the design was simply the insanely huge bezel. Now I'm not saying that the Pebble Time is the worst looking smartwatch out there, but I do think that the company could have done much, much better with it. Now moving away from the design, let's talk about the hardware. The build quality on the Pebble Time is actually really good. There's no creaking in the plastic body, the watch is light, thin, and feels very good on the wrist, and the buttons are also very tactile. The watch is also compatible with any 22mm watch band, but you'll probably be fine with the stock band if comfort is the most important thing to you. The silicone band that comes pre-installed on the Time is honestly the most comfortable watch band I've ever worn, and I really do plan on buying it separately for other watches. Now on a side note, the Pebble time is also water resistant in up to 30 meters of water. Now I wore the Pebble Time in the pool several times without ever having to worry about having problems. Now the display on the Pebble Time is a color e-ink display which has its pros and its cons. The display is very easy to read outdoors and it stays on all the time, but its colors are muted and indoor viewing really isn't that good at all. There is a backlight for when you need to see the display at night, but it really doesn't help out all that much. Another perk of that display is the battery life it gives this device. Since the display hardly uses any power, the watch can last up to seven days on a full charge, or at least that's what Pebble claims. Now in my testing, I could get about seven days on a single charge, but that's with the backlight time set at its minimum. Turning that up decreased my battery life significantly. That said, battery life on the Pebble Time is easily the best available on the market today. Now so far the Pebble Time is a pretty solid watch. It's got great battery life, a decent display, and good hardware. However, one of the deciding factors on this watch is the software. Now just like in years previous, Pebble still gets notifications nearly perfect, but that's just about all they get right in their new software. The new timeline UI, which interacts with applications and your calendar, works well, but my biggest issue with it is that I really don't use a calendar all that much, and because of that, it's pretty much worthless. If you're like me in that regard, then timeline UI really won't mean much to you either. Now aside from timeline UI, the Pebble Time software also includes new animations between different screens, which, well, well, at least in my opinion, kind of hinder the watch a little bit more than they help it. Each animation simply feels like it takes too long and is just unnecessary. Half the time when I receive a new notification, I lift my wrist to see the end of an animation when all I want to see is my notification. Now I wouldn't have a problem with the animations if I could speed them up or turn them off, but sadly I can't do that, at least not yet. Now another area where I felt the pebble suffers is in the app and watch face selection. With the new color display, it's sad to see so few apps and watch faces taking advantage of the new display. Now you you can still use any previous Pebble app or watch face, but they simply don't look as good. Finding an app that uses color is hard to come by, even though there are more being added all the time. Now one final note regarding the Pebble Time is its compatibility. I give credit to Pebble for making the Time compatible with both Android and iOS, but depending on the operating system you're connected to, the Time has a very different experience. Now I've prepared a separate video linked in the description and in the card up above explaining that in a little bit more detail. So in the end, is the Pebble Time worth getting? It's kind of hard to say. The Pebble Time has a lot going for it, but unlike the original Pebble, the Pebble Time is not the only good smartwatch out there. It has stiff competition from Android and Apple. Now even though the Pebble Time covers the basics extremely well, it still feels a bit behind the times compared to its competition. Now that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Now if you enjoyed it and you wanna see more videos just like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like as it helps us out a lot. Also be sure to let us know in the comments down below if you own a Pebble Time or if you plan on picking one up. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, a huge thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you in the next one.